Rahim was dreaming about the presents he was hoping to receive for Eid. Would it be the latest football or that flash new bike that he keeps mentioning to his mum about? Assalamu alaikum Rahim, you need to wake up and get ready so we can all go to the mosque for Eid prayer. Your new clothes are just over here for you to wear, said Dad. Jazakallah khairun Dad, said Rahim, as he awoke slowly from his sleep. Once Rahim was ready, he went to join his family at the breakfast table. His little sister Alia was already munching on some toast. Mum, when do we get our Eid presents? asked Alia rather excitedly. Mum replied, well, whilst you and Rahim were sleeping last night, your father and I wrapped up all the Eid gifts that we are going to give to you two and your cousins. Yay, shouted Rahim and Alia. But when can we open them? asked Rahim. After the Eid prayers, Mummy replied, laughing. Once they were in the car, Dad asked if anyone had remembered what they needed to recite on the way to the masjid. Rahim shouted, I know Dad, I know, it's the travelling du'a. That's fantastic Rahim, well done for remembering, said Dad, looking very pleased. At the mosque, they joined the Eid prayer and listened carefully to the sermon. Once finished, they all hugged and greeted their friends with Eid Mubarak and then headed towards the car. Whilst Dad was driving back, Alia was looking rather puzzled, so she asked her father why they were taking a different route back. Dad explained that this was the practice of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He would take a different route back so he could meet and greet many more people on Eid. Dad eventually stopped the car outside Auntie Zahra's house. Auntie Zahra had invited many family and friends so they could all have Eid lunch together. Rahim's cousins saw him and came running to open the door and they all hugged each other exchanging rather loud Eid Mubaraks. Rahim noticed that Dad had bought a big bag full of presents for the cousins and he felt even more excited. The children spent all afternoon playing and exchanging presents. Later on, when Rahim and Alia were helping to tidy up, Alia asked her brother Rahim if he had received all the presents that he wanted for Eid. Rahim replied, No, I didn't get anything I wanted, but it really doesn't matter because I had so much fun with my cousins. Alia laughed and said, Me too, Rahim, me too. The end. It can be lots of fun receiving and giving Eid presents during Eid, but Eid is not just about presents. It's more important to make sure we see all our family and friends during Eid so we can all take part in an exciting day that we can remember for a very long time. <laughs>